Hi again, friends. Let's go explore the backyard. Today I have a creature for you that you've seen before. Remember those tadpoles? Well, look what they have become. They are now little tiny toads. These ones up on the rock are ready to just hop away and explore the world. But there's a lot of them in there. Some of them at the bottom you can see have tails and they have front legs and back legs and those tails are being absorbed right now. They don't eat until the tail goes away. Then they come out of the water and they're ready to explore. And then look over here, we have the larger tadpoles. So these, ha most of them have back legs and pretty soon the front legs will come out and then they'll just be like these toads over here. And then it rained not too long ago and there were more eggs in that puddle by the road. And so here's some more little tiny tadpoles that I saved from that puddle. These toads are Great Basin Spadefoot Toads. And these are special toads that are well adapted to live in dry areas. And they are toads, which means that they are pretty comfortable on land. And so what they will do to protect themselves from getting too dried out is that they will dig a burrow and they will live in that burrow in the ground and as the ground gets drier and drier they will dig deeper and deeper and they could be like two to three feet deep underground and they have been known to be as deep as 15 feet underground that's really deep then the toads will come up out of their burrow at nighttime when it's cooler and they'll also come up maybe during rain and they'll go hunting and they are looking for bugs and um, they will eat insects like ants and beetles are some of their favorites so these little toads will grow a little bigger you can see how big this one is compared to my fingers and it's called a spadefoot toad because on its back legs it has some long toenails that are growing and it uses those to dig its burrow. They will get a little bit bigger. They can be one and a half to two and a half inches long. Some people have a hard time figuring out the difference between a frog and a toad. So there are some differences. One thing is that toads generally live on land and frogs like to be in water a lot of the time. And frogs have skin that is wet and kind of slimy. And a toad has drier skin and it's more bumpy. And it has like um, things that some people think are warts. They're not warts at all. And actually you don't have to worry about handling a toad. People used to think that handling a toad would give you warts on your skin, but that's not true. So you don't have to worry about that. Although you do need to make sure you wash your hands after you touch a toad or a frog because there can be some things on their skin that could be harmful to you. There's a lot of good things about a toad. It's really good that they eat insects and the bugs that might be around your garden. It is really a good thing to play with them and they hop around and it's, it's pretty fun to pick them up and play with them. I think most kids really like frogs and toads, don't you think? So anyway, there's a lot of good things about a toad. This week we're talking about the fruit of the spirit of goodness. And when I think about goodness in the Bible, I think of Jesus himself. He came to this earth and everything he did was good. He was so good to people and all of the miracles that he did and everything he did was just very good. David in Psalm 23 wrote that the Lord is my shepherd and he's talking about Jesus as a good shepherd taking care of his sheep and his sheep would be us and the good shepherd will lead his sheep to good food and take care of it and protect it against its enemies. And it also says that surely goodness and mercy will be with me all of my life. And so you see, it's Jesus that can give the same goodness that he has and he demonstrated for us, he can give that to us if we ask. 
So I hope that you ask today for Jesus to come into your heart and for you to have some of that goodness in your life. And I think people around you will notice. Okay, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.